Hey everybody, Nanagon again coming at you with another tutorial about cookies and how the Fat Free Framework handles them. Um, so the code that I'm looking at right here is based off of the Framework Variables tutorial. We're just continuing on with that. As part of what Fat Free does when you're either s setting or getting a variable from uh, the Hive, it does special things with sessions and cookies. In this tutorial, I wanted to talk about cookies a little bit. So, um, one thing I kind of wanted to go over with before we started diving in was, um, so I'm in here, the vendor, Oscar that free core, in the base, because uh, that's where a lot of the stuff happens. I kind of wanted to go over really quick what happens uh, when you start setting you know, cookies. So if I did, uh, let's do cookies, you're not here, right here. So you can see we're in the set function. We went over that in the last tutorial. But in here, if it finds cookie, you know, it will do this you know, specific thing. But then for cookie, it does uh, very unique things. So it pulls things out of jar. And I'll show you what jar is in a little bit. Um, and then it will do certain things and start setting cookies for you automatically. And this is usually something I always have to Google because I constantly forget it. Um, so if this is above PHP 7.3, it does specific things. Otherwise, it will do other things. Um, and then it will set this cookie variable for you, as well as set the cookie. Uh, and all that's kind of just like taken care of under the hood, which is really, really cool, really, really nice. Uh, and then, if, as I said earlier, so we'll talk about jar. If, so if you see like set cookie part, Parts one is the, the name, if you want to call it that. So like you would do set cookie dot um, logged in user or something like that. And then you would set the value. And then the jar gets passed in here. <clears throat> so when I looked up jar, I found this guy. So these are the default settings. Um, expire lifetime with these zeros mean it's session based I believe um, and there's it says path domain it automatically will set secure if the scheme is HTTPS and HTTP only is true these two are really important for security and it's nice to know that they're automatically done so um, the other thing that's really cool with cookies see if I can find it again so there's there's that one and then, so now we're in the clear. So, you know, sometimes you're like, oh, okay, well, I don't need that cookie anymore. I need to drop it or whatever. Like, all you have to do is clear it. And then it will do the same thing. It will pull the jar out and, you know, set the cookie, which basically means it will set it to null, which means it will kill it. And then it will unset the global for it as well. So it's, it's kind of cool that it does all this stuff. So... Let's go back to this in real life and like how this would work. So let's start my little local development server. So let's say I wanted to set a cookie if I hit the index controller and the name was something. So we'll, we'll come back here, we'll call it parameter. Parameter will be name. And, <clears throat> and here are the arms. Let's see, so if arms name equals Bob now I'm going to take this and I'm going to go cookie whatever I want it to be uh, name equals arms name <clears throat> so then I'll actually comment this stuff out so well, let's see here. So now we'll come back. So it, it won't find it anymore because I just changed this to something else. But let's say my name is Joe. So it's still serving everything else. But let me make sure we can see the, what we need to down here. So here in storage, we're going to be monitoring this cookies area over here. So let's do Sally. There's nothing. If I do Bob, so you may notice as we're testing this out, there are no cookies showing up here. Let's refresh and refresh. The name is totally Bob. Let me make sure that it's actually Bob. 
Bar dump args name. Is it really Bob? String read Bob. That is totally the same thing. So why isn't this cookie getting set? Well, if we look back here, so here we are, we're in set cookie. Now we're seeing this. So look, there's this expire thing that gets set here. It expires is zero. But some like it's expiring at zero, so like nothing's actually being set. It expires immediately, which is like clearing it. Okay, so well, how do we get around this? So actually, you can't use the shortcut when it comes to this. So you would do something like set cookie dot name, and then that's the name, and then it's this last one that'll get you. It's the time to live, so we'll say this lives for 60 seconds. So if I save it now, we should now see a cookie show up. And we'll, until it gives us the max age, 1344, and it's going to end in a minute. So if I now do Tom, it now will show up, and you'll notice that little var dump here that disappeared as well so we totally were in there and we were hitting it but it is important to remember that now we have this and we have to do it a certain way so now let's say var name is bob well what about if uh get clear equal to true so then we'll just do this we'll do clear cookie dot name this so you can tell here it doesn't seem like it's working because the cookie is still here like why is it still here you can even see my time it's beyond the time so why is it still working well if you hop in here we'll come and do this we'll just show the cookie variable and you see it's totally empty well what if it's just because of this, and it'll still show up. It's not going to show up. It's really cleared, but this might be a little confusing because in this case, Firefox will just keep the cookie there, even if it's not used anymore. One other thing to show you really quick, <clears throat> if you go in here to the quick reference part of the user guide and fat free, if you look up jar. This is what I was talking about. So it gives you, it's an array, and you can set things like expire, pass, domain, secure, HTTP only. Uh, some of these are set by default, as it will show on here, but it will allow you to give it a little more flexibility in case you needed it. So uh, this is a really cool part. You just set this like, right, nope, there we go. Struggle is real, people. So it would be like framework jar equals and then whatever you wanted. If you wanted your default expires to be you know, 500 seconds or it would be like time plus 500 or whatever you wanted it to be. And then you just let that guy go and do its thing and all your cookies will have those same parameters. So it's a really helpful tool that you can have. That's a little tutorial on how cookies are used in Fat Free and how they are really helpful. If you like my videos, don't forget to subscribe. Talk to you guys later.